Constitution Day, May 1st, is Independence Day for the people of the Marshall Islands. Many living here in the capital city of Majro are nuclear nomads, exiled from their islands because of radiation from U.S. nuclear testing. The people of Ronglep, who fled here 25 years ago, have yet to go home. Here, 400 miles from their homeland, Ronglep's exiles have struggled to maintain their own identity to keep a sense of what it means to be Rangalapinas. In downtown Majuro, the government of Rangalap has built its own town hall. It's a place where the air conditioning provides a welcome relief from the tropical sun outside. Here, residents have a chance to socialize with friends and talk about their children and they can take care of official business, such as picking up their government checks. They even use a ham radio to keep in touch with loved ones who live on neighboring islands. Several families live in a community called Rangi Town, built as a place to live until they can finally go home. Well, in 1996, when we started our resettlement program, the first thing we wanted to do was build houses for the exposed population. It gives them a sense of uh, settle and convenience, having these temporary housing uh, here in Majuro. Good morning. Life for the church-going people of the Marshall Islands has been defined by the lasting impact of radiation, which spread much further than Brookhaven ever suggested. A 2004 study by the National Cancer Institute blamed radiation for as many as 530 excess cancers among the Marshall Islanders who were touched by nuclear fallout. Bomb survivors, like Lejean Engling, say they have tried to forgive, if not forget, what happened to them. I don't get mad with the United States government, even though I know what they're doing was very, very wrong to the Marshallese. For Rangelap's new generation, Brookhaven is now part of the nuclear history they learn in classrooms. Out of the atomic ashes, the Marshallese have created their own infant nation, their own independence. Their currency is still the U.S. dollar, and they look to America for hope and a sense of freedom. But they have also learned to care for themselves, to speak up for their rights and dignity, and to rely on their own doctors for their health. The older people of the Marshalls still look out at the ocean and talk about the paradise-like islands where they once lived. The young people have heard of the fallout and the hidden threat of radiation that their elders call the poison. And they both wonder if it may carry unknown consequences for their own children, the next generation of Marshallese. For all the pain and suffering of the past, this new generation has forged its own independence, carrying on with the knowledge that life can change in an instant, in the flash of an atom. <laughs>